Play caller, I go play action bomb right here on first down. Kind of Let's see. Less oh, and they pitch it to Leonard Fournette. I asked for an unsung. LSU ran 65% of their offense out of the eye. And they'll pitch it to Fournette, try to turn the corner. And they'll take on some. Harris out of the gun, fakes the inside handoff, and he'll keep it, and he won't get there. Won't. On first down and 10. Pass all the way. Fournette. Not everything else, and he'd be in a much better position to perform on the field. Second down and 10. Play action. Throw it. And again, just a little too high for the loud stadium. Here's Harris under pressure, throwing across his body. And so a sigh of relief for now for LSU. First and 10 from their own 20. And here's Harris looking for a confidence throw, a confidence building throw. Four or five shots a half down the field. There's the game plan. Give it to Leonard Fournette. He's going to replace one of the best players in the history of Wisconsin, Michael Caputo. There it is right there, coming right downhill. 65% of the time, you get it. And he's over 3,000 yards now for his career as Fournette. Plenty of protection and time for Harris. And there, delivers the strike. A kind of really put a strike on him. And then right back to the big fella for net. Olive Song. Three on the play clock, see if they get it off. And they just do with one left on there. And give it to Fournette. On a third down and seven. The only conversion they have is via the penalty so far. Here's Harris in all sorts of trouble. And he is dropped down and lost his... To everyone really in the kicking community still trying to get over that terrible tragedy of the offseason. LSU very close. Every day yeah. because nothing's guaranteed. And those kickers have a special group, special bond, right? Some of you big tough rough football players, you know, don't get saved. Finally they get four net in the game. Get it to him again. Feed the big fella. He's the guy trying to replace Joe Schulberg, who was just brilliant all everything for Wisconsin. Stopped there by Vince Beagle, the other linebacker who's expected to make the plays for the Badgers. Now, Beagle is now the leader of this defense with, as you mentioned, Schulberg no longer there. He's got a knife from the inside. He's so quick. Such a good first twitch. He knows how to look at blocking schemes and make them wrong, and he gets in the backfield of trip. Final 48 seconds to play in the half. You, you tuned in for the Leonard Fournette show. Might want to come back for the second half because it has not been the case here in the first half, and that continues. And I'm not even saying it's been Fournette's fault. The record setter. And you know he knows what Christian McCaffrey did last night, too, by the way. Dangerous throw. It's not a whole lot you can do. Two timeouts left for LS here. Let's see. Take another shot. Why not? There's the deep ball, and it's got a man, and it's intercepted. Got the wrong man. Picked off by Derek Tindall. Down the sideline. And uh -huh. first down and ten. First play from scrimmage, open up half number two. Always a good idea. Give it to Redden for that, and he had two receivers bottom of your screen. Inside handoff to Fournette, and he spins away from one tackle. Harris a throw. Dumps it down for Fournette, but he has stopped well shy of the first yard average. I was told there'd be no man. Here's Fournette trying to work on those numbers, and he cracks out of Harris. To kind of settle Brandon Harris down at times to open the lines of communication. They haven't been able to get things going. Give it to Fournette. Able to turn the corner. Now running downhill. And still on his feet. Out to midfield. And that's what we expected to see all after. Or Durrell on the outside.
This is the fifth play LSU has run in Wisconsin territory, and they're in Wisconsin territory, I mean, barely. Fournette. At the line of scrimmage, a change formation. Out of the eye, second man through is Fournette, and he is lowering that shoulder and helmet, and banging Burke. So Fournette did a lot of that without his lead blocker in front of him. Now he's back. Here's Darius Geis. The change up a little bit. Pushed back from the third. Seven possessions total. Fournette's back in the game. And confusion in the backfield. Football is out. And uh, said he really wanted to touch the Lambeau turf. <laughs> Feel it with his feet, and he did. Here's Harris throwing. Incomplete. Field position at the 41 of the Badgers. Here's Harris. Has Fournette out of the backfield. For Fournette. LSU going fast here, trying to catch Wisconsin. It's Fournette. At third and three. For two seconds back on the clock. Final play, quarter number three. And there it is. Number four. Fifth ranked LSU with a one point lead. Yeah. That was the real big gash play from Fournette to this point. On second and six. Here's Harris going to throw. Lots it down the sideline. Jump ball there. Back. And Todd, that's what this offense has become, you know. 50-50 balls on the outside. Yep. Here's the throw and again. Too tall play. Quarter number four. Fifth ranked Tigers by one. Give it to Fournette, trying to pick his spots, jumps to the outside. Good running room, first down, and much more after that. Here's Fournette for a couple. T.J. Watt is out. Garrett Dooley has checked in on second and seven. Off play action. Harris under pressure. And he out of the 44-yard line. 3.20 to go, one timeout left for LSU. Harris hit as he throws. Able to, second and ten. Harris avoids one man. Able to complete. And on third down conversions today. Third and six. Good pocket for Harris. Able to complete to Malachi Dupree. Bring pressure off the edge here in Wisconsin. And off to Fournette, slices through inside the 30 now. On first and 15, Harris gets out of that trouble and puts himself in some more. Picked up. Play here, you're going to see his great pressure on the inside, which makes Brandon Harris escape. But once he escapes, you just, you just got to be smart with the football. It gets away from Beagle, and I, I don't, I, I can't tell you where he's throwing that.